Hi everybody, this is Quincy from Limpaw, and I was recently asked on the Instagram account, how is it that I am creating the white outlines around the Pokemon that I've been drawing? Uh, so you can see the, po the outline on this Magikarp, it's pretty even, uh, it doesn't look organic in any way, it's, uh, it looks nice, it's balanced. Uh, that's a recent thing that started happening with the Pokemon. You can see this one's 129. Uh, for the longest time, I have been doing them hand-drawn, and uh, whereas it can add some character, this one was hand-drawn, where it can add some character, uh, it it just takes up a lot of time. It's, uh, it's really just not an efficient way to go about it. So I came up with this process to create these mechanical-looking outlines. <coughs> Excuse me. I will, uh, I'm going to walk you through that right now, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do, do your own outlines, and they look super sharp and really nice. So, uh, today's Pokemon is going to be Eevee, uh, number 133 in the Kanto Pokedex, and uh, I will walk you through how Eevee was created, uh, or how the outline would get started. Uh, some quick notes. The canvas size, as you can see, is 3,150 squared, and I am working on an iPad Pro from 2018, and I'm using Procreate. I assume, uh, in this video, I'll assume that you know quite a bit about Procreate and perhaps Photoshop, so I won't hold hands too much. Uh, so uh, just let me know if you do have comments or questions, ask them in the comment area and I'll help as quickly as I can. So a little bit about the layouts. I have a background layer. I have this uh, Limpaw information layer. Uh, I then have an outline layer that I've set up. We'll use that in a minute. I have a mask layer. I have the Pokemon. I have the number of the Pokemon, and then I have the, the information stuff, uh, the canvas size. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I am under the weather. Uh, from here, let's go on and get this party started. I'm gonna go down to the outline layer, and I, well, actually first, I'm gonna to go to the Pokemon layer. I'm going to select Eevee, and then I am going to go down to the outline layer. I have white selected, and I'm gonna fill that in with white. And as you can see now, uh, the there is a white silhouette of Eevee hidden behind the image of Eevee. So there you go, I can turn off that Eevee, and you'll see the white. Uh, let's go on and keep Eevee on. I'm going to deselect that background, and now I'm going to go to Gajam Blur, all right? And I am going to increase the blur to 20%. And now you can start to see the little white halo behind Eevee. It's important to point out that all the stuff that I'm going to be talking about in the this quick tutorial is relevant to that canvas size. If you want to do this the way that I'm talking about it, you're going to need to either use that canvas size or experiment with the theories that I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> but if you wanna do it exact, you need to use that canvas size. Okay, so after I've created this Gaussian blurred layer in the outline, we need to duplicate that, eight, uh, make eight copies of it, okay? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now after we've created the eight copies, we're gonna merge those. And from this point, we're gonna make another eight copies of this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we merge these as well. We're gonna try and merge them. <clears throat> okay, so after we've done that, we now have uh, what looks like a fuzzy outline of EV. But what we wanna do is make that a lot tighter. <clears throat> Excuse me, more mechanical looking. So uh, we're gonna go to our select, we're gonna do automatic, and we're gonna just select the area around the Eevee. And then we are going to go to our mask layer. And from here, I wanna select a color that's a little bit easier for me to see. So I'm gonna get this kind of orangish red going on, and I'm gonna drop those colors into the space uh, that we have selected around that blur. From here, I'm going to deselect and we are, okay, we're still on the mask layer. We are going to, again, Gajam Blur, but this time we're gonna to go to 10%. So we move it to 10%, <clears throat> and from there, 
we're gonna want to make eight copies of that mask layer. So duplicate two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now we're gonna combine those. Now what you're gonna see is that that mask layer has made made the outline of the uh, the white outline much tighter by overlapping. Okay, I'm gonna turn that on off. So you kind of see the difference. See how that's that's a larger white outline? Now it's a tighter outline. Um, <clears throat> the way that we're gonna trim that down is we're gonna select the mask layer, then we're gonna go down to the outline, and then we're gonna hit clear, and that's gonna get rid of all the haze. So now it's all that's left is just that tighter white outline. <clears throat> now, but what you can see is that there's there's still areas that aren't solid white. And it's still got kind of that haze going on. See those areas right there? <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll make eight copies of this outline area. Again, one last time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to merge those. And what that does is it creates... it the, the combination of all those different layers makes that way more opaque. And there you have it. We have an Eevee, it's got a nice uh, solid outline around it, it's very mechanical looking, doesn't look organic, <coughs> excuse me again. Um, what I like to do from here is I create two of the outline layers and then I invert the top, uh, the lower one and I make that black and then I offset it from the top layer. So there we go, you see? Um, from here I like to do the Gaussian blur on that layer Let's bring it to 25%. There we go, 25%. And then I bring down the opacity to 50%. And what that gives us is a nice drop shadow. And there we go. There we go. Eevee is now ready to have the anatomy worked on. Uh, just show you quickly how I would do that is do the blue well, I would tone down the opacity on the actual EV layer. I'd create a new layer for the bones. And then you just start, you know, studying up on that EV skeleton right over top of the image. And if you want to see more about this, just go through the Limpaw uh, stuff on either the Instagram or on YouTube. And while you're here, if you're watching this YouTube video, if you liked it, if it was helpful, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, leave a comment. It all helps. Uh, the channel grow and it lets me know what you're into seeing more of. Again, uh, look at these. You can see the results. Uh, this was ditto from yesterday. Uh, let's see here. God, I don't know how else you would do those tails. I mean, if, if I was to have done the hand-drawn line on those tails, that would have just been a nightmare, but ultimately it ended up being very, very easy. <clears throat> Although he doesn't have a drop shadow. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll handle that. I'll, I'll get that later. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, and yeah, guys, let me know what you think. And I'll see you either on Instagram or uh, here on YouTube. Talk to you soon. Bye.